Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Disney's Wilderness Lodge. I wanted to come out and actually take my mom and sister to one of my all-time favorite restaurants here at Walt Disney World, Whispering Canyon Cafe. I absolutely love it there and I know that they're gonna love it too. And I figured since we are here, maybe we would go around and explore the resort a little bit. Anywho's, let's go do this. I think this resort is going to be my mom's favorite resort. It is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like a gigantic log cabin. I love staying here and I just, I just want to come here and hang out sometimes. Today, we're not going to be doing any of the parks. Like I said, we're just coming out for some dinner at Whispering Canyon Cafe and just relaxing and enjoying a nice resort day, I guess. Mask on and we're heading into the resort. My mom's gonna see it for the first time. It is so beautiful in here. Definitely one of my favorite lobbies. I still have my uh, Halloween mask because we did the Boo Bash last night, but our reservation isn't for a couple of minutes, I think actually 20 minutes. So we're gonna go kind of like uh, just walk around or scoot around the resort. I can't wait to show my mom the outside area and then maybe come in and sit by the fireplace on a hot day. Even though it's close to 100 degrees outside, I would still be sitting here enjoying a fireplace. It's just so cozy and comfy. I don't know if there's a wheelchair ramp on this side or if we have to go down inside but we're gonna come over here and take a look and at least we can go to the overlook it does look like there is no handicap ramp so we're gonna have to go back inside but I wanted to bring her over here and show her the overlook because it's so pretty look at that oh it looks like they're doing tie-dye shirts over there and I just remembered I think the geyser shoots off on the hour so we're gonna head down there real quick I gotta show mom the geyser. I think that's the coolest thing in Wilderness Lodge. I like to come and just check it out, but it, it has been down for some time, so I hope it's back up. I've always wanted to take a scooter down this ramp. <laughs> or like a skateboard, it looks so fun. Does it look good? Is it fun driving down the ramp? It is. Right? I'd like to go full blast. Do it. No way. Come on, hit it right here. See if you can get some air. Come on, real quick. I'm okay. No. <laughs> cool. Oh no, it looks like we're gonna miss the geyser. We're rushing over. It just started a minute ago. To the left, to the left, to the left, to the left. We're, we're to the left, to the left. I'm watching it. You gotta hit the rabbit. Hit the rabbit mode. Rabbit. Your rabbit mode on your scooter. And then make another right. <laughs> we did, I think we just missed it. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she's got one more in her. We literally just got here for the end. It was so beautiful. I'm sure you can imagine what it would be like. It does shoot like 30 feet in the air. Oh, oh, a little bit. A little bit. Nope, oh, oh, oh. Nothing. <laughs> and of course, we gotta stop here. I feel like this is an essential photo spot whenever you come to visit the Wilderness Lodge. It's just so beautiful here. I love this resort, look at it. Now we're heading back inside. We're gonna get ready for our reservation. Maybe afterwards we might go down to Boulder Ridge. I'd love to show uh, my mom the Carolyn Pacific room. I think that is such a cozy spot. It's not as easy going up as it is coming down though, Ma, huh? Do you feel a little, a little like forced back on it? Oh, did you see it? Yeah, sit still. Are you popping a wheelie? No. Come on. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> we are all checked in for Whispering Canyon Cafe and I am starving. If you guys have never eaten here before, it is basically an all you care to enjoy skillet meal, much like all the other ones, but this one has been this way before the pandemic and we're gonna have brisket, we're gonna have chicken, barbecue, smashed potatoes, corn, green beans, all the fixings and I am excited. Here is a look at the menu and of course we're going to be going the all you care to enjoy signature skillets. You can get the traditional that comes with uh, brisket, barbecue pork ribs, sausage, pulled pork, 
citrus chicken, buttered corn, and then you can get the pig. The pig comes with pork belly, piggy wings, and then also the brisket and ribs. Then they have the land and sea, and that comes with salmon, chicken, vegan sausage, portabella, cauliflower, and then they even have a plant-based. These are very good. It's $34 a person, and it's all you care to enjoy. I mean, this is a big, big meal, and it's very delicious. Look at how beautiful it is in here. I love the chairs, everything. That's us! The experience of the actual dining experience is so much fun. The uh, servers or CMs actually are very interactive and they play little fun jokes on you and it's it's a really good time and hopefully we can capture some of that on film and I'm hopefully my mom is gonna like it a lot. This is right up her alley. Thank you. <laughs> because there's three of us, my mom and sister both got the traditional and I got the pig, but we can add or ask for more portions of certain like specific things. Their traditional is going to come out as a shared platter or mine's going to be a smaller platter because it's individual, but it's it's all all you care to enjoy and you can, you know, swap it around where all have plates and it's it, it's definitely worth the $34 price tag. And also, did you see how she threw those straws at me? Like, <laughs> it, was a little, it was a little harsh. These are paper. These aren't plastic anymore. They can do damage. It's nice to see that even though it's still kind of like pandemic and socially distanced, they still do a lot of fun, nifty things. Now, I'm not too sure what happens if we ask for ketchup anymore. Uh, I don't know if they stop doing that because it's, it's kind of hard to exchange ketchup throughout the restaurant. And also, I don't know if they go to jail or if anybody can go to jail. If you have never eaten at Whispering Canyon before, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you do and you have eaten here before, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I got some nice cornbread. Ma, you're gonna like that. I love cornbread. Oh yeah. Extra barbecue. Ooh, I'll take that. Extra butter. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. Before we get our skillets, we have a nice cornbread service with coleslaw, extra butter, and also they look, brought out a little nifty like uh, container for barbecue, some extra barbecue sauce. I love the cornbread here, so I'm going to grab a piece right here. Go ahead, guys, dive in. Coleslaw is all yours. Did, what do you think? We're going to take all the, col the cornbread? I've seen the way you went to go grab it. You know. <laughs> The cornbread here at Whispering Canyon is probably my favorite cornbread on property. I'm not a big cornbread fanatic, but I like this one a lot. Oh boy, and here's the skillets. Piggy, right here. Oh yeah, that's the way, look at that. Oh yeah. Go to, okay? Oh, perfect. Oh boy. This is a lot of food. And like I said, it's all you care to enjoy. And we're gonna be able to order anything extra that we want. So like if we want more ribs, they'll bring out more ribs and so forth. But I wanna give you a rundown of basically all the skillet things and just show you off the food first before we dive in. Here is the piggy, and the piggy actually has the ribs, and then has the piggy wings, and then that's the pork belly, and then you got the pork underneath it, and then the smashed potatoes, the corn, and the green beans, and then here is the traditional skillet, and this one is a little bit bigger because two people ordered it, and this has the ribs, the sausage, the chicken, the smashed potatoes, the pulled pork, the green beans, the corn. This is a lot, a lot of food, and the extra barbecue sauce. Traditionally, I usually just eat right out of my skillet, but since we're all sharing it, I think I'm gonna fix myself a little plate. I'm gonna take my hat off too. You know, a ball. <laughs> In fact, they didn't even give me any tongs. They just gave me my own little tiny skillet. So I'm gonna pull out some potatoes, scoop sea potato, <laughs> and then I'm gonna use the tongs. I'm gonna steal a piece of brisket. Oh, there we go. So far, so good. Okay. Oh, is there any way we can have more piggy wings and pork belly? Of course. Yeah, because yeah. they're going to want to try. <laughs> All right, let's put it in. Thank you. I'm going to grab some ribs. 
and I already asked for more pork belly and piggy wings because they only give you one and I kind of want to share it with everybody. So I'll take my pork belly, bada bing, some of the pulled pork, bada boom. Look at that. That's the way. I'm going to start it off with a little bit of the pulled pork. Hopefully I don't drop any, but it's dangling there. So we're going to go right in here. The potatoes are so amazing and the pork is good. Now I want to try the brisket. And this brisket has a like mustard barbecue sauce on it. It's very signature. I'm going to just fold it in half. I tried cutting it, but I think we're just going to do it like this. A good forking. Usually the brisket is my go-to. And I love brisket everywhere. It's one of my favorite meats. But I don't know. I don't know if this ranks up there high enough with me with like trails in and polite pig. Only because I don't like the mustard sauce as much. So we're going to try it here. That is so, so good. And you really can't taste the mustard. I've had it before, but I couldn't remember. I still don't think it's as good as uh, Trails End. Trails End is my favorite brisket, but up there for me. Definitely up there. Now we're on to the ribs. Look at these bad boys. Oh my lord. We gotta make sure we keep our uh, fingers clean because we don't want sticky buttons. And now it's time for the pork belly. Look at that. I don't know if I need any barbecue sauce on it. Maybe I'll put a dab. Just a little bit. Oh yeah. Oh mom, you're grabbing the pork belly too, right? First time eating pork belly. Cheers. Pork belly cheers him with my mom. <laughs> I guess it's a Whispering Canyon thing. Now I'm gonna grab a little corn and potatoes right out of the skillet. Now this is hard to transfer over, so I love mixing corn with my potatoes. Oh, and a little pulled pork. We're gonna put a little, everything all in one bite. Come on, get on in there. Come on, get. Pa said we can't keep you anymore. <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit of everything. I'm one, one spoon, a spoonful of potatoes, corn, and pork. Make the medicine go down. <laughs> And now it's time for the piggy wings. Look at these bad boys. And watch the bone, watch this. Look at that. I'm gonna literally pull the bone right out. Oh my Lord. That is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited. Look at this. Piggy wings. I put some damage on my skillet right here. Okay. Oh, amazing. Oh. Well, you like my grandma's swamp water? Yeah, it's upgraded. No, it's swamp water. <laughs> <laughs> I think so far the pork belly is probably my favorite. My mom really liked the chicken. You think the chicken's your favorite? I do. Yeah? And Bonnie said the sausage. Yeah. And what else? The pork belly. The pork belly. Yeah, I know. The mashed potato. Oh, the mashed oh, potatoes. Scoopsy potato. Scoopsy potato. Scoopsy potato. Scoopsy potato. <laughs> we ended up getting more chicken and sausage. We both all like unanimously. <laughs> I can't say it right. Unanimous, unanimously. 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 We both. Oh, we all human, humanassingly all got chicken and sausage because it was our favorite. Human, humanassingly. Humanassingly. <laughs> human yes. Anyways, any who's, we got chicken and sausage, but not chicken sausage. <laughs> My, I, I'm glad you like it. <laughs> you say it. Unanimously. <laughs> Unanimously. <laughs> you now you understand where, yep. you, where you got you, it from. You, human, 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 Unanimously. Unanimously. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough. You Unanimously. You got something right here on your cheek. Oh, do what? That's a zit. That's a pimple. That's not nice. <laughs> I'm getting roasted by my own family here. Anyways, I, I'm all in for the sausage. My mom's laughing at me hysterically. I feel like I'm back in like the second grade talking and going to speech class. Remember when I used to say Wesovar? Wesovar. Wed? <laughs> always pronouncing the word, pronouncing. Always pronouncing, pronouncing the words. Pronouncing the words. The words. <laughs> 
now that we're all finished with dinner, I think we're gonna check out the gift shop and then I'm gonna take my mom to Boulder Ridge real quick and then maybe down to the poly to finish up and have a Dole Whip for dessert. They said they wanted a Dole Whip, my mom said it, and since we're not going to Magic Kingdom again until a couple days from now, uh, Polly's the second best place to get a Dole Whip. If not, maybe the first. Oh, Mom, did you see that soup? They got beaver butt. Yeah. Did you smell it? Or no, it. How about ferret farts? I want to smell the beaver butt. This is ferret farts. <laughs> We got beaver butts, beaver butt, beaver butt, and ferret farts. I think we found my mom a new hat, a nice little visor. This is nice. Yeah, very nice. So it looks like mom's gonna get herself a visor. She doesn't want to try it yet because we had to go get some hairspray earlier because she wanted to get her bangs perfect. I love how she like gets her hair all ready to go because she asks, she's like, "Oh, are you gonna be vlogging today?" So she gets herself all made up, and I think it's kind of cute and adorable. Now we're gonna move along. We got mom her hat, we got Bonnie a new t-shirt, and we're gonna head down to Boulder Ridge, and then, like I said, maybe head on over to the Poly and get ourselves a Dole Whip. As much as I love Wilderness Lodge, I really love Boulder Ridge. I think a little bit more. I like the music and the feel of being on the outdoors. I think it's more wilderness than the Wilderness Lodge. Uh, does that make sense? Let me know which one you think if you stayed at both of them. Do you prefer Wilderness Lodge, uh, Copper Creek, or Boulder Ridge? Uh, I have to say, I think I'm all Boulder Ridge and I love the smell. The smell is the best. Just walking through here, listening to the music and hearing the bugs and seeing the swampland over there. This is so like wilderness, like I said. Any gators down there? <laughs> Are you looking for the gators? Look at the nice fireplaces here. Y'all, too hot? I've had enough of the heat. <laughs> I feel like sometimes I get repetitive with the things that really get me excited, but the next room over is one of the most historical rooms, in, in my opinion, I think, in the whole entire Disney like company. Like It is so amazing. This is the Carrollwood Pacific Room, basically named after Walt's Railroad, and I love coming in here just sitting down by the fireplace and the rocking chairs and seeing all the history of Walt Disney and his love for trains. You can see it on the walls and his first train itself and they actually have that train here. These are two train cars from Walt's train in his own backyard. This is the first Walt Disney attraction or ride actually that he actually had in his backyard. And he used to ride around with his daughters and it's just so cool that it's here and it's being preserved. History right there. Can you imagine a nice day after the park sitting here? Just relaxing, pooping. And I think with that far down. I could spend a long time here. Yeah. I think we're gonna have to get up though. Go get ourselves that Dole Whip. <laughs> We ended up going the wrong way, so mom's got to do a donut here, but she wants to say hi to all the lizards. <laughs> There's a lot of them. <laughs> if you go walk around the lake with Gracie, you'll see a lot of the lizards. Well, I think I'm going to do that tomorrow. Yeah, there you go. Now we're going back down. My mom has said that she likes Boulder Ridge better than Wilderness Lodge. And I said, wait till you see the cabins by Fort Wilderness or the cabins that are over here at Boulder Ridge. Those are gonna be amazing. So one day we'll come back here and we'll get down there and I'm gonna show her. And she's gonna, she's probably gonna geek out. <laughs> and just like that, we have made it to the Poly. Look at that sky though. We're gonna have a beautiful sunset tonight. This is gonna be my mom and sister's first Disney Dole Whip. The only other Dole Whip they've had, Dutch Wonderland, right? So now you're getting the good stuff. I don't think they're gonna have the backside of water here, which is like a Jungle Cruise one. I think that's only in the Magic Kingdom, but I would like to see what other uh, flavors they have, or we'll just stick to the classic Dole Whip. Looks like we've got vanilla, pineapple, lime, and raspberry as the flavors today. 
my mom's gonna get a swirl Dole Whip float. I think I'm gonna get a vanilla Dole Whip float, and Bon Bon is vanilla. 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 <laughs> yeah, you gotta get a little bit of both. Mixture of the, the pineapple. That is so good. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it does melt quick though. I wonder what the raspberry would taste like. It's a raspberry ice cream? This is dull wet. I know. The raspberry is hot. It's dull wet. So what you're eating right there is an ice cream. Mm -hmm. It's dull wet. Not the pineapple, but now it's here. Yeah. My favorite part is when the Dole Whip starts to melt and we get a little bit of a mixture with the pineapple juice at the bottom. So delicious. I think Happily Ever After starts at 8.45 tonight. So we're gonna head on down to the beach. It's only 20 minutes away. We got a Dole Whip in hand and we can watch Happily Ever After. My mom raised her Dole Whip up as she scooted away. Dole Whip in hand. <laughs> Look at that, isn't it beautiful? What a sight. What a nice night this is. Holy moly. I'm so happy we came out this way and came over to Polly. It is beautiful. Also sitting here listening to the music is just so relaxing. It really goes well with the, the Dole Whip, which is pretty melty at this point, but I, I am enjoying it and I'm enjoying this moment. One of the things that I'm appreciating a lot is showing my mom and sister different perspectives of watching the fireworks. Well, watching Happily Ever After, especially since it's leaving us. So we've seen it from in front of the castle, behind the castle, now at the beach at the Poly. What's next? California Grill, maybe? Maybe, maybe. maybe. It's fucking you. My, my sister's complaining about getting bit by a mosquito, so my mom's been kind of showing her what it's like. You have been bitten. One of my favorite things is seeing the fireworks and the reflections of the water. And so our journey comes to an end, but yours continues on.
And with that, I think we are done here tonight. What an amazing day. We started off at Wilderness Lodge, had a little Whispering Canyon Cafe. Then we hopped over to the Poly, got a Dole Whip, and wrapped up the night with Happily Ever After. That is a fun, exciting day. And it's so cool because as a local, I get to do this stuff all the time. So I'm so happy to show my mom and sister. They don't want to go to the parks every day and just like, you know, gung-ho, gung-ho. So this is a non-park day, real relaxing, and go at our own pace, and it's still amazing. Like, I feel like it's a park day. You know what I mean? Every day is like a great day. As long as you go out and just do stuff and be active. And uh, it helps me. It always puts me in good spirits. And it just makes you feel good. Like, today was a really good field day. Like, I had a lot of fun. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.